Let's write the balance net ionic equation for NiCO3 plus H2SO4. This is nickel to carbonate, and then we have sulfuric acid, a strong acid. So the first thing we need to do with net ionic equations is balance the molecular equation here. This is our molecular equation. In this case, it's already balanced, which is really nice. Now we can write the states for each substance, and that looks like this. Carbonates in general are insoluble, so this is going to be a solid. Sulfuric acid is a strong acid. It's going to be aqueous, broken up into its ions. Nickel sulfate, also aqueous in general. Sulfates are soluble. And then we have liquid water and carbon dioxide. This may get a little warm. This could be a gas, but let's call it a liquid. It really won't change the net ionic equation. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions for the complete ionic equation. That looks like this. So this is the complete ionic equation. And note for solids, we don't split solids apart, we don't split liquids apart, and we don't split gases apart in net ionic equations. So we've kept those together. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. In the reactants, I see a sulfate ion here, and again, another sulfate ion in the products. So these are spectator ions. We're gonna cross those out. Everything else, that's unique. So this is the net ionic equation for this NiCO3 plus H2SO4. I'll clean it up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for nickel 2 carbonate plus sulfuric acid. You'll note that charge is conserved, 2 times 1 plus, so we have 2 plus in the reactants. And then in the products, we have a 2 plus for this nickel 2 ion. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.